William Patterson was born in a Dumfries and Galloway farmhouse in 1658. He left Scotland aged 17 to seek his fortune in the Caribbean. By the 1690s, he was established as a rich and successful stockbroker operating in London's coffee houses and selling shares in South Seas trading ventures. There's lots of evidence to suggest that he was a very, very good communicator. If you were um, given a couple of minutes of Patterson's time in a coffee shop or a, a tavern, he could persuade you to hand over money fairly quickly. The Bank of England was the result of Patterson's vision to establish a state-sponsored trading empire. To fund this, he raised £1.2 million for the government, an unheard of sum in the 17th century by selling shares in this new national bank. Patterson, along with his backers, became the bank's first directors. He is behind this very innovative financial structure to raise money for the government. It's one of the stockbroking kind of guys who get very excited about selling a company, get it onto the market, get as much money as, as you can quickly. Um, that, that's what really gave him the buzz. He understood, possibly more than anyone else, how capital markets were influenced by emotion rather than um, rational ideas. 